What's going on everybody and for today's figure review we have none other than the 3-0 G.I. Joe Firefly 6 scale figure. Let's go. What's going on everybody and welcome back to the channel. Like I said, I've got in the house the 3-0 G.I. Joe Firefly 6 scale figure. This thing is super awesome. Can't wait to get it out of the box. Before we do that, I would like to thank our sponsor for this video, good old Bits and Buttons. So if you guys haven't know about Bits and Buttons, make sure you go check them out in the link in the description below for their Instagram page. They're always posting when they get new stuff. And yes, they ship worldwide, worldwide. So make sure you go check them out. And thank you guys for sponsoring this review. With that being said, you guys know how I like to do my figure reviews. So let's go ahead and let's get a good look at the box. We got a good look at the box let's take a look at the actual spec sheet so you guys can see everything that it comes with um goggles submachine gun a pistol a combat knife biochemical bomb a time bomb hand grenades a bunch of hands a backpack and magnetic detonators which is really cool and then on the back side it shows you the placement of where everything should go and what comes apart and how you attach it so I always like how they give you the uh, the spec sheets with these three zero figures so pretty cool now let's go ahead and let's take a look at the accessories all right guys so first up we are going to take a look at the uh, left hands on the accessories so we've got a gun hand and you know like a black glove it's got like knuckle metal knuckle covers you know for when they punch when they punch stuff um, we got an open hand, which is for holding one of the detonators, I believe. And then we've got a closed fist, which is for punching. So there you go. And then on the right hand side, we've got a hand that holds like a uh, the knife. We've also got another closed fist. And then we also have a gun hand on this one as well so pretty cool with the hands then we've got this really cool looking backpack that has a whole bunch of like devices and gadgets and looks like uh, you know uh, dynamite on there and a radio and some stuff so this actually slides on the back and we'll show how that goes on in a few minutes when we get to the figure but really nice detail on that super cool there and we get a the bomb dynamite got like a little punch code would be cool if they were ever to get like batteries in this thing and like the uh the, the keypad and everything would light up i think that'd be cool but really great detail on that that's cool here's like the what they call the biological or chemical weapon kind of looks like uh you know the uh, the tgri uh, ooze from ninja turtles but really nice detail there and then we get this really badass uh, submachine gun. Now the clip stays in, it doesn't come out. However, the stock does fold back and forth. And there is a actual silencer that's in the other set of accessories that we'll go over in a second that actually slide on the muzzle. So that's really cool. Um, I, I do always like though the little details, especially when the magazines do come out and you can see like the, the bullets painted in there. But in this instance, this one doesn't come out, but they did a really good job on this gun and really cool. And I like the, uh, the foldable stock. So let's go ahead now and let's pull out the rest of the accessories. 
All right, now we here we are with the other set of accessories. Here are the night vision goggles. Again, really nice detail on that. Paint app on this is really cool. Um, just be mindful of when you're going to put this on the portrait. You got to be careful because these are not elastic. This is all plastic, so you don't want to run the risk of ripping it and tearing it, but cool on those. Next up, we get the knife. Now, really nice detail on the knife. I like the silver. I like the contour that they did of the blade, so really nice job there also get seven of these little hand grenades which is really cool detail um just for me i would have liked to see maybe if there was a way maybe they can add like a small pin in there so like you can you know you can pull it out but again you know you make do with what you got you know these are pretty small so i'm sure they're limited to what they could do but really cool on the grenade so remember you get seven of those here is the thermal detonator. Now, keep in mind, you do only get two of these, but again, really cool detail. So I like that a lot. You push the button, everything blows up, but solid paint on that. And again, you get two of these. Then here is the silencer that actually goes on the gun. So here, let me bring back in the gun and We'll plug it in there, and it just plugs plugs right in like that. So now it's gone from loud to silenced, which is awesome. And again, you got that really cool foldable stock, so you can have the option of leaving the silencer on or leaving it off. So again, really cool job on that, and they did a good job on the gunmetal with that and you can see got a little bit of like uh you know porting and stuff in there so really really cool job on that and then last but not least you get this cool pistol so another you get another gun um again you know magazine doesn't come out this slide doesn't go back but still really nice detail you got the nice black grips on there you got the gun metal color so really nice job on the pistol so with that being said that's basically it for the accessories uh let's go ahead and take a look at the figure all right guys and here is a look at the figure and super cool i love this color camo you got the really badass cobra logo right there on the shoulder pad he's got all the gear on him and everything he's got the holster for the pistol He's got, there's the part where the backpack slides on. Um, the grenades actually clip on up here at some point, and we'll get that on there. But really nice job. The boots look really cool on this. So you got those gunmetal knee pads. Got the, like, gauntlets on the arms, which is cool. I think the knife actually goes in there, which is pretty cool. So, yeah, I mean, overall, I mean... This is a pretty badass looking figure. I mean, I've had three Zero figures in the past. I have my uh, my Rambo ones, which I think those figures were fantastic. I've never had a bad three Zero figure yet. So this is, this is exciting for this one. So yeah, I mean, other than that, detail on this is really great. Other than that, let's get into the articulation. So the head moves pretty well. The arm goes up yay high. Um, the elbow is single jointed. You do have some pivoting in the wrist. So there you go from there. Um, as far as torso crunch goes, that's as far down as it goes. That's as far back. Um, as far as the leg goes, the leg goes back yay far. The leg goes up yay high. The knee is double jointed. And then also you do have some pivot articulation in the ankle so other than that really badass figure so let me go ahead now and let me get some of these accessories on and we'll take some pictures all right so while assembling and putting on some accessories i did want to show you guys some stuff real fast so here's what i was talking about with putting on the goggles so they actually slide on pretty easy which is cool these grenades have longer clips so they just slide on the thermal detonators 
over here on the legs, they're actually magnetic. So when this piece is magnetic, so it actually just sticks right on there like that. And the cool thing is if you notice the grenades right here, check this out. So this, the, there's larger grenades and smaller grenades. These are the smaller grenades. The smaller grenade actually has a pin that comes out like that. And then you actually take it and port it up like this and it sticks in there like that which is actually really freaking cool so you have you know the options of whether you want to have like a grenade in his hand or you want to put him on the belt um and again on the smaller ones the pins actually come out of the top and then again with the goggles you just place them on there gently these clip on and then the thermal detonators i said our magnet which are really cool and then obviously the knife goes right in here the pistol goes right in there and then the backpack as you can see right here it just actually slides let's get that in there which way does it go in there you go slides right in there like that so now that's on him nice and tight and secure so yeah pretty cool i thought that'd be a fun little thing to show you guys just in case if you had questions while you were putting them together so all right now let's get this thing into some poses and do some pictures Can the world the deadliest of foes? guys so final thoughts another badass figure from 30 like i said earlier in the video i've never had anything bad to say about the 30 figures i've always thought they've been great the accessories that they've always come with are extremely awesome the articulation's great the outfits are great the materials are great again nothing bad about a 30 figure and if you guys are into gi joe's i highly suggest you pick up this line of gi joe figures from 30 with the six scale because they are freaking phenomenal so great figure highly enjoy it will go great in a any gi joe collectors collection so keep that in mind other than that guys i want to thank again the sponsor for the video bits and buttons the link will be in the description below for their instagram and like i said earlier they're always posting when they get new stuff and they ship worldwide so make sure you check them out other than that that's going to wrap up another figure review for this week i hope you guys enjoyed it comment down below let me know your thoughts and be sure to like comment share and subscribe and all that other good stuff and i'll see you guys on the next review